Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Opinions Matter. This is your host Das. And uh, to access all the intelligent modes of your Auto Evo, just click on that Auto Evo sign near the GPS section. That's where you'll get all the intelligent modes. To be very frank, there are not many, there are only four. And we are begin going to begin today with the orbit mode. Now, there will be two customizable buttons at the bottom of your controller. And I'm going to show you what you guys need to do to uh, go or to actually execute the orbit mode to execute the orbit mode at first fly to the point that you want to circle around so what i'm going to do is that i've as you can see right now i have the grid lines and everything on i'm going to frame the subject in the center of the grid as you can see that i'm actually pitching left and right and then i will move backwards and create a radius now that is the a button at the back of the controller so after that you will also there's a common mistake which i made in the beginning is that i did not keep it above 33 feet so you have to be above 33 feet and now i draw a radius and you will see that uh, the aircraft begins to actually hover around but what happened to my camera so the thing to learn about this is that when you execute the orbit mode pan up your camera and then press the start button so after that you should not face any problem but notice uh, that in the center of the grid the subject moves away from the center a bit that's because uh, the wind speed on that day was round about 9 to 10 miles per hour and the aircraft was struggling a little bit or the quadcopter whichever way you want to say it another demonstration of that so once you reach and you have drawn the center and then you have drawn the radius now make it in the center so as you can see the subject is in the center and then press the start button now i've speeded up this because it might get too boring so i mean like i have no problem in uh, that sort of you know like a slight deviation from the center of uh, my frame now this uh, is dynamic track there are a lot of modes i'm just going to show you one by one so this is a follow make sure you're you know like turning off backward flying in backward flying remember this guys do it in an open area because uh, there are only infrared sensors at the back there is no vision sensor so it will just show you any obstacle if it's there at the back of your aircraft but it's not going to stop it okay it might hover in novice mode but if you're in a pro mode it will not hover from that you will also notice that whenever i move into different direction it actually follows me and if the aircraft actually yaws to the right or turns to the right and turns to the left automatically now this is one of my favorite modes it's the parallel mode where the aircraft can go parallelly to you and uh, since the auto evo does 120 fps you can slow down your tracks and as you can see in this shot i actually love this shot a lot so um, it's going parallelly to me and at a very very slow frame of 120 fps and uh, next one in dynamic track is going to be a tripod mode which was actually originally introduced by dji so in this what happens the aircraft is stay put at one location it just turns left and right so that's pretty much it and uh, you can use this tri tripod modes for different purposes if you like from that we'll be going to one very important part of uh, this episode is going to be our waypoint now waypoint mission is a very important mission um, and though there are a lot of stuff that's written out there uh, the waypoint mission actually works like this so you create maps from one location to another location to another location so you can do like four or five waypoints and by the way you can actually use uh, the controller a as to set waypoint please note into this remote control instruction and note how you can adjust it you can do a lot of stuff just by using waypoint missions but just for demonstration purpose so this is how you're going to do it set a point a so as this one i've set a point a that's my waypoint one i go a little bit far i want to be above this river yes i want to be above this little river so that's my waypoint two so that's my plan that, that will be i'll be stopping in the tree i'll be going a little bit and that will be my waypoint three or four so after the mission uploads what it does is that it returns 
to the position where I started the first point from. So that's in my first point. Uh, very precise. I didn't see any sort of glitch or anything. And then the quadcopter actually moves towards that waypoint two. So very, very precise execution. And I would highly appreciate, I actually highly appreciated the way the Autel Evo was performing. Now in this, what I did was that I tried to execute a downward looking shot, you know, or I, or I usually call it a hook shot. And uh, I'll just speed up some footage and everything so that you can get a gist or idea how you can use the waypoint. Now, very cool feature is uh, this <laughs> viewpoint. The good thing about the viewpoint is that it's kind of a course lock which DJI originally introduced uh, when they started building their drones and everything in the market. So it goes in a direction or in a path that you send the quadcopter to. So the Autel Evo actually flies in the direction where you tap as you can see on the screen and you just tap on that and uh, the, the quadcopter actually keeps on flying to that direction. All you need to do is just frame your shots. You know, like you can move whichever angle you want. Usually in DJI Mavic 2s, you can move right and left also, but the Auto Evo just goes up and down. So it will be only one angle that you can pitch the camera to. Uh, so this is, I think, one of my very favorite kind of, uh, you know, like modes that I've already used uh, in uh, some, some other places outside US. So I've been using uh, this drone to Philippines. I went to Indonesia with this and I've got some examples coming up very soon. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it because Auto Evo has got four basic intelligent modes and I love it that it's very, very simple. And if you guys are wondering what about the footage, here are some examples using all the intelligent modes. Don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, enjoy your flight.